Hey Piper, let me see your face. Come here. Can I see mama? Tuesday. It is another day at home. Narkees, as I said earlier or yesterday, Narkees' therapy session had to be, um, I'm trying to find my broom, had to be canceled for today. Go party ghost. Um, because he still has a fever. It's 100.8 right now, um, which technically isn't like horrible, but it's not really good either. <laughs> so it's high enough that he definitely needs to like not be around other kids anyway we've got our keys over here he's tired so he's resting i got out my husband and i's big huge comforter and i folded it so it's a nice triple layer padding for him here on the floor so he's nice and comfy rolled up. not right now buddy and he's got all of his toys he's pulling out he's reading him some books you're having a good old time huh yeah yeah um <clears throat> so he's having fun on the floor he always wants to play there but it just it never looks comfortable to me so i was like i'm getting you like a cushion like you need a cushion anyway i've been trying really hard to stay on top of the housework and just kind of i don't know you guys just trying to keep on top of my life <laughs> y'all my hair looks horrendous so i'm pretty sure our neighbors moved they're gone um which has been nice in the sense that we can just let ghost out whenever we need to we don't have to like check and see if their dogs are out um so that's been that's been nice i hope they went somewhere that is like beneficial to them or whatever but at any rate what is what is going on today i don't even know my days feels like it's just been turned on its ear because we don't have therapy today um papers at school is always at school yeah it's a Tuesday <laughs> also guys I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about <sighs> because I get asked this question a lot and I just I kind of avoid it and I know that I avoid it in the vlogs but I wanted to talk about tomorrow about the long term um, I don't talk about the long term a lot with the boys I just don't um, but it, it dawned on me this morning, a friend, like I had done a Facebook post and I said, oh man, I just woke up exhausted. Um, and she said, someday you're really going to miss this. She's like, you're really going to miss, you know, all of your kids and all this kind of stuff. And I've heard that comment before. And while it, it's probably like true with a lot of things, like, of course I'll miss them being little and you know, all of that. But you know, and the girls will someday grow up and move out. I know that. And I will miss it. But with the boys, it's just different um, because it, it, it makes me think like, well, no, I'm not going to miss it someday because more likely than not, my boys will always be with me. Um, we have hope that Narkees will someday live independently. Um, but in terms of Aiden, you know, we don't know. Right now, as Aiden is, he will always need someone he will always need mom here he will always need dad he will always need a caregiver a um, hundred percent of the time and you know things can change and God can work amazing miracles and I truly believe that and you know maybe both of my boys will have very functional adult lives and maybe they'll they will live independently I don't know right now but it's it's also not something that I really dwell on you know when we adopted the boys we definitely understood and had that in our minds like yeah this is probably forever you know they're probably never going to be out of our house we will never be empty nesters um it, it is a lifelong commitment um and that was something we kind of had to come to terms with even before we left for ukraine to you know bring our boys home we had to come to grips with that. And I think now that they're home and now that we're in the day-to-day, -day, it's not something we dwell on and it's not something we think too much about. Um, someday the day is going to come 
where you know they are 18 19 20 and we will have to make that hard decision we will have to decide okay how are they doing are they capable of living independently and if they aren't obviously the choice is they would continue to live with mom and dad um i don't know we haven't looked into options you know i i'm very against like state care like i would i wouldn't be okay with specifically aiden who's nonverbal, um to be in state care i just i don't know i don't know guys we it's not something we dwell on but i do get asked that question a lot what about the long term like what's gonna happen like what does the future look like for the boys um and the truth is they will probably always be with us um i know they have like group home and facilities um for people of around you know narkeez's ability they do have group home settings for him um for like when he turns 18 19 20. And of course, that's up to him. That's up to Narkees. If he wants to be in a group home setting, that's great. And we will do what we can to find him a good one and support him in that. But if he doesn't, we want to be able to say, yeah, you can stay home with mom, you know? <laughs> um, so, yeah, long term, not really something we think about. But it does definitely, like, hit a little harder when people say, well, someday you'll be an empty nester because we never will be, you know, like we'll never be empty nesters. Um, we will always have a child here at home with us. Um, more likely than not, never say never, never say never guys. Um, I, I, I've learned a long time ago to never ever put limitations on God ever because the second you do, you know, he's just, he's going to surprise you and god can work amazing things in these kids he already has you know he's already done so much for these boys and they've come such a long way so who am i to you know write off their future that they'll always be with mom and dad they may not but if they do need that and that is what they need in their life we are more than willing to pick up on that and continue to help them grow and thrive um as long as we need to so that's basically the answer of the question yeah betty no, you need to play with those. He he's doing that thing, y'all, where he uh he he's having a hard time focusing, so he wants to flip from one thing to another. He's asked to color, he asked to play, he asked to build blocks, and he wants to do it all. He wants to switch it every like two or three minutes. Um, so we have a rule that when he's down for an activity, you need to do that activity at least 20, 30 minutes, and then we can find a new activity. So that's why he's asking to do another one. <laughs> Anyway, I've got to get back to it. I still have some laundry here on the couch I need to fold. I've got a good like four loads right here that I need to get done. I need to sweep this room in here. My babies. Are you coming out today? I like it when you come out. Yeah. <laughs> You're in a good mood, huh? You're in a good mood, huh? Good morning, guys. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> he just burped. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Is it Tuesday or is it Wednesday? Is it Wednesday? It might be Wednesday. Maybe I'm like losing my mind. It's Wednesday. What the heck? I lost a day. I lost a day. I don't know where it went. <laughs> but in my head, it was Tuesday still. So yesterday, you guys, I found a few more um, little like planter boxes. And I planted some squash and another row of green beans. And this weekend, I think my husband and I are gonna tackle this backyard because it is just ridiculous. Like it is redonkulously, like I'm gonna show you guys. So you probably can't tell a ton from like right here, but there's just weeds everywhere. And I think what a lot of people don't see from this tree right here, back is all rock. There are literally rocks everywhere, and they're natural rocks. You guys see right, um, well, maybe you can see right here. Yeah, there's a rock right there. The whole backside of our backyard is filled with rocks. So you can't just get back there and just mow it down. Like, that's not gonna work. So we, but we need to get back there and figure something out because it is just growing all kinds of out of control. I need to get all of these leaves that have been here forever. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I thought 
like, oh, the leaves will totally just decompose over time. Like, I don't want to rake them up. Because we rake, we did the front yard and we did most of like right around here. And then these are just leaves that have blown, excuse me, blown up to the house. So that's got to be done. <sighs> anyway, I don't know why I just told you guys that. Just a weekend project that's got to be done. My husband and I were talking about it last night. And we're like, we've got to like, we need to clean out our gutters. Like, we've got a lot of home stuff that's got to happen. Okay, dishes done. Sink cleared. Countertops, for the most part, cleared out. So, you guys, Piper is on this new, like, hang on, let me fix this lighting. There we go. So Piper is on this new kick where she comes home from school and she wants to work on her letters. Like she wants to write the alphabet, she wants to sound them out, and I think it's really awesome and I'm impressed with how she's doing, you guys. So she did this one yesterday. And of course I wrote these, but then underneath it she would like copy it. So she's got Q, R, S, her S's have improved. Her W's, at first she did M's, so we had to mark that out and correct that. I just think she's doing amazing, you guys. This is G and H and F. I love, and I'm so thankful that she got into pre-K this year because I think it has definitely given her an advantage um, going into kindergarten. Hang on, Betty. It's definitely given her an advantage going into kindergarten because I feel like while I, I could have taught her this, like she just she's learned a lot of valuable things at school um, and if nothing else behavior wise like she's learned how to be at school and how to act at school and how to you know get in line and you know be quiet and get along with your peers and it's just been great for her and I am so glad that we <laughs> enrolled her in pre-k um, Zoe did not get that advantage we lived in a different school zone or a school system when Zoe was in what on earth when Zoe was in pre-K or would have been in pre-K and uh, we applied but it was just like a lottery pool thing you just you didn't know if you'd get in and she didn't get in so <sighs> we what? Nar what 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 he is like calling me he's over here coloring what did you color for mama show me let me see Duh. All right, we have that beautiful masterpiece. It kind of looks like a bird. I see the two eyes and then the wings. Is it a bird? Eyes. Yeah. yeah. And then we have this. That's nice. I really like those colors. It's some yellows purple. and browns. Oh, yeah. that purple. Yeah, the other one has purple. Here. Let's see. There's a purple crayon. There you go. Hey, Piper, let me see your face. Come here. Mama. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, we just got out of Zoe's soccer practice. Piper! I, don't, I literally don't know if you guys can even like see how dirty you can. Let me see if I can change the lighting. Let's see here. I don't know if you guys can tell. I don't know. I know I But there, there you go. There's a nice view. Oh, it's getting really light now. Oh my goodness. I see. Talk about a delay. There you go. Take that out of your mouth. Quit chewing on that. Your, your hands are dirty. Take that out. One. Thank you. Do you guys see how dirty this child is? And it's not a bath night, but it is now. We need a bulletin. And I'm glad it is, because I wanted a bath. I'm sweaty. Popsicles. We need the uh, sugar-free popsicles, right? Yeah, sugar-free. Okay. And then after that, we definitely need toothpaste. Toothpaste, that's right. Daddy put toothpaste on the list. So it's that time of week, guys, when we're just out of everything. Well, not everything, but we're out of like the major stuff. Huh? And you saw Piper was covered in inch to inch in dirt. Yeah. Piper pretty much bathed in a dirt pile at Zoe's soccer practice. That's just how it goes. Hi, this is Zoe here. And my mom has posted two videos, I mean combined, two videos in one. And we've just had, my, my brothers and sister have been sick and so 
I I just really hope that well Marquise is the only one sick now so I hope you pray that he gets better and isn't so sick anymore because he really wants to go back to school bye I love you get back to posting one video a day tomorrow bye